welcome back to World of Warship and let's talk commanders and today I'm thinking to share with you my personal opinion about this personal uh, assignment with my little jingles now before you guys uh, get excited I would like to say it's kind of a chip from Wargaming that of I understand you earn 10,000 base experience and you, you receive the minor jingles voice which is awesome nothing crazy but guys three points captain absolutely hilarious in my honestly opinion even though that you you know it, it takes some time uh, not a whole lot uh, to gain 10,000 base experience but uh, quite a few battles but what I'm trying to say guys is this captain worthy of course don't get me wrong I like his voice I like uh, the jingles I think uh, he's an awesome captain but my question to you come on three points captain is it really worth it I mean even though let's say there are quite a few captains like Yamamoto and even uh, probably one of the best captains it's the new Italian captain which you have to pay real money like uh, Notzer used to say you open like 25 something uh, containers to achieve it and don't get me wrong he's has special talent talent uh, you know the, you know when you do let's say uh, uh, confeder or stuff like that you you achieve something you your ship become OP you know same thing with Yamamoto when uh, Kraken is unleashed then it's absolutely unstoppable uh, crazy good or shall I say absolutely amazing good captain like Yama Yamamoto and the new Italian captain what not sir used to say it, it's a uh, extremely strong and powerful and guys before we're gonna talk about real badass captains let's go for the something extreme and for that we have to go to armory and also explain you why in this shall I say World of Warship gameplay it's such vital a uh, real good captain and, and a matter of fact I would like to say um, 19 points captain versus let's say uh, 8 or six uh, uh, points captain it's a huge difference guys absolutely uh, hilarious now let's go for the captains because what the hell is we are talking about captains you want a real badass captain uh, and you have a soviet um, i don't know battleship cruiser destroyer you name it this is a badass captain but however 175 uh, coal eats a lot of money and uh, the rest of uh, captains are between 35,000 coal, which I believe is kind of a, uh, a lot. Anyway, I only have 10,000 for crying out loud. And 1,500 doubloons, I believe it's all right. I mean, sure, you may argue that it comes with 10 points. So 1,500 doubloons with 10 points captain. And this captain also have a 10 points, but it costs whopping 175,000. And my, my, uh, the Midal Jingles cost, uh, cost only 10,000 base experience, but has no uh, special t uh, talent like this UPS hell uh, uh, Soviet uh, Nikolai Kutuzov. And same thing with Yamamoto. But Yamamoto, everyone is for free. You can just go and, uh, you know, take take your time. Even though it will take weeks or months. But uh, sooner or later, you will achieve that captain for free. If you just pay uh, play enough this game. However, guys, and this is my opinion. At the start, let's say if you are a new... Uh, uh, a new account new 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 player like this is a brand new account I only have a tier 4 tier 5 ship is uh, at least guys 10 12 points captain necessarily if you're destroy it, hell yes because one of the most important um, in this game it's actually uh, you know uh, concealment and you may argue for some battleship the concealment problem it's not everything but let me put it this way a ship with or without 12 points that's a huge deal because you have a whole lot easier to disengage 
you probably have so many other tools and especially those very very few players which has those really awesome badass captains like Kutuzov like the new Italian Luigi you know what, I, what I'm trying to say I would like to say I would go so far that those captains with let's say 19 points and between a dude which like me only have like six points captain it's double as good I repeat again it makes the gameplay unfair because if you uh, my dear subscriber have like me six points captain and you're facing uh, another uh, with the same ship 19 points and has the Kutuzov or the, the new Italian badass captain or the French one and it does not matter but you get the point with this extremely powerful OP broken captains your ship it's twice as good of course it's up to your gameplay and you have to be careful when you don't have the concealment but the point is that it's not fair um, it's I, I don't know it's like world of tanks I have armor you don't I shit on your armor uh, take your best shop because you cannot do a damn thing it's almost that broke you know uh, I feel it's not fair I believe and this is that the problem with this game at the starter it takes freaking ages I mean bottles of battles to achieve at least 10 points and for that reason of course I do recommend to pay 1500 doubloons uh, to have at least 10 points captain you know what I mean uh, because otherwise if you don't have a premium account like me I have only standard battle it takes ages to come to at least 12 points captain I mean the minimum you have to do well and especially guys and this is the the key question once you have to tier 5 you will face tier 7 you will struggle the the game it's not so fun it does not matter what kind of a ship you are if uh, you're destroyer cruiser uh, or uh, especially cruiser or a battleship you will struggle you don't have the range you don't have anything the reload and stuff like that and uh, I would like to say one uh, bad thing is that even at the um, at the start it's a big difference with or without captain let me know in a comment below what you think is wargaming going for the extreme you have to have twice as good ship as long as you pay and I mean not paying you know 1500 the blues no 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 I mean you pay buttloads like probably 25 premiums containers like not sir uh, open it to receive the badass captain uh, let me know in a comment below is it fair that some people with wallet can have twice as good ship versus you know players who just uh, play this uh, game casual you know free to play account because that's exactly what i have i have no premium account no nothing but i would like to say it's kind of a struggle especially from tier 5 up to do well uh, of course at tier 4 it's an, a lot of new uh, players but the tier 4 and below they never face plus 2 minus 2 in matchmaking you know so if you are a tier 4 you're never gonna face a tier 6 ship that's the thing as long as you pass that tier 5 I'm just saying good luck because the real um, struggle the real challenge the real grind starts from tier 5 all the way to tier 10 so guys thanks for watching and let me know in a comment below what you think about this should I say cheap war gaming um, you know badass captain like jingles with only three points it's it's sad I will do another uh, video how you guys can, um, shall I say, increase the best way to increase your captain. Let's say jingles from th uh, 3 points all the way to 19. What you have to do and what is my advice. In the next video guys I will talk about how you uh, increase the points of a captain from 3 to 19 as fast as possible thanks guys for watching and always captains fair seas and goodbye